Hi everyone, I'm Manisha Natarajan and I will be presenting my work with my advisor, Dr. Matthew Gombele, titled Effects of Anthropomorphism and Accountability on Trust in Human-Robot Interaction. I will begin by discussing the motivation for our study, followed by the experiment design and conditions, the metrics and hypothesis used in our study, the results obtained, and finally, the contributions of our work. Why is it important to study trust? Well. Multiple studies in the past have shown that relying too much or too little on automation can both have negative outcomes. For instance, about 45% of all air crashes are caused by pilot error, primarily due to inappropriate reliance on the autopilot system. Here, we choose to study trust in the context of HRI. Trust in HRI has been investigated in the past. Here, we show Paul Robinette's work, which focused on how humans trust robots in the case of an emergency evacuation, where the robot is guiding the subjects out of a burning building. However, prior work on trust in HRI was limited to one robot or was focused only on certain attributes of the robot. In our study, we wish to examine how trust varies across multiple physical and virtual robots demonstrating different behaviors for a particular task. Further, we also wish to reduce human errors due to inappropriate reliance or compliance on the autonomous agent. We take inspiration from Admiral Rickover in the US Navy, who introduced the concept of accountability, where the crew members pass on false information and were held accountable for trusting blindly. This strategy reduced human errors to a great extent. Thus, to understand how trust varies across multiple robots with different attributes, and how accountability affects human errors in the context of HRI, we designed a human subjects experiment. Our study involves robots assisting users in a math quiz by providing hints to solve hard arithmetic problems. We chose to use math quiz as our test environment as it involves the users to reason under pressure while also relying on an autonomous agent. The users interact with a series of agents exhibiting different behaviors and will solve 10 questions per agent. The image here shows a virtual agent providing advice to the user. The user may choose to accept or reject the robot's hint. If the user accepts the hint, then the game proceeds by selecting the option that matches with the robot's hint. If the user rejects the hint, then the options are revealed to the user and the user will have to choose. The users are scored based on how quickly they answer and whether they give the answer, get the answer right or wrong. Further, we impose a high penalty for timeout to force the users to decide quickly. Here we show a video of a physical agent giving hint and feedback to the user. Seven plus eighty-five ends in twenty-one. Incorrect. Oops. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Next, we'll discuss the experiment conditions. For our study, we used four robots with varied physical attributes, ranging from a robot arm, such as Sawyer, to humanoids, such as Pepper and Now. Robots is a between subjects condition. Behavior refers to the type of advice and the feedback given by the robot. The correct agent will always provide good advice, whereas apologetic, indifferent, and accountable provide incorrect advice 50% of the time. The feedback given by the agent varies with its behavior. For instance, the apologetic agent will apologize on giving bad advice to the user. The indifferent agent doesn't mention whether it gave good or bad advice. The accountable agent holds the user accountable for accepting bad advice by saying things like, you did not verify my hint. Behavior is a within subjects variable and each user encounters different behaviors in a random order, starting with the correct agent first. The users also encounter the correct agent for a second time at random after having had at least one interaction with an incorrect agent. We carefully designed each of the robot's gestures to depict the right emotion. We consulted multiple focus groups on designing the gestures and responses for the behavior of all the robots. The next factor is robot presence. The users interact with both physical or embodied and virtual robots, which are pre-recorded videos of the physical robot displaying the gestures. The final condition is the coalition building preface, where the robot provides context as to why it fails to provide correct advice at times. 
We will re this, revisit this condition later. Here we list the hypothesis and metrics used in our study. The first hypothesis states that trust is dependent on anthropomorphism. Anthropomorphism refers to how human-like the users perceive the robot to be. Next, trust is dependent on behavior. Behavior here refers to the type of advice and feedback given by the robot. The third hypothesis states that embodied robots will have a greater influence on users' trust than their virtual counterpart. And finally, the next hypothesis states that inappropriate compliance and reliance are dependent on previous behavior or the last agent that the user encountered. Here, inappropriate compliance refers to accepting bad advice and reliance refers to rejecting good advice from the agent. For the subjective metrics, we measured using Likert scale surveys. Trust and anthropomorphism are evaluated using questionnaires after the user interacts with each agent. The user's automation bias evaluates each user's preference to use automation in their daily lives. This is only measured at the start of the experiment. The objective metrics, that is inappropriate compliance and reliance, are measured at the rate at which users accept bad advice or reject good advice respectively. We conduct an omnibus ANOVA to analyze trust, H1 through H3, and we analyze compliance and reliance separately. On performing ANOVA, we find three out of four hypotheses to be significant. Trust was found to be highly significant for both anthropomorphism and behavior with p-values less than 0.001. Detailed analysis for H1, H2, and H4 will be discussed on the next slide. We fail to show significance for difference in trust between embodied and virtual robots. We speculate that this might be task-related. Lack of physical interaction between the user and the robot may have led to no significant difference in trust between embodied and virtual robots. Our statistical results are discussed here. We show that trust is significantly dependent on anthropomorphism and there exists a positive correlation between trust and anthropomorphism. We also observe that trust is significantly dependent on behavior. Trust is highest for the correct agents, followed by apologetic, indifferent, and accountable. Correct one and correct two refer to the correct agents that were encountered first and for the second time. Not only do we observe significant difference in trust between correct and incorrect agents, but also among the different incorrect agents as well. For H4, we find significant results for inappropriate compliance and near significant results for inappropriate reliance with respect to the previous behavior that the user interacted with. The table here shows that if the user in, in encountered accountable agent last, then they are less likely to accept bad advice and also less likely to reject good advice. However, if the user interacted with the apologetic agent last, then the users are more likely to accept bad advice and reject good advice. This indicates that accountable is a desirable behavior as it reduces human error. However, it or the trust in the accountable agents is pretty low. Thus, we introduced a coalition building preface to increase trust. Under this condition, the robot provides context as to why it provides bad advice. For instance, the accountable agent says something like, I want to help you succeed, and I may sometimes give you bad advice just to make sure you're paying attention, and if you make a mistake, I will point it out to you. We note a significant increase in trust for the accountable agent post-coalition. Some of the limitations uh, are discussed here. Uh, we introduced the coalition building preface only in the second half of the experiment, which could lead to potential cohort effects. It would have been a better practice to have randomized this condition. We also faced some technical issues with robots and had to rely on Google text-to-speech for virtual robots, as we couldn't pre-record the hints since the questions were randomly generated. The contributions of our work. We are the first to perform an HRI study on trust across multiple robots while assessing multiple attributes. This allows us to observe significant interaction effects. For instance, robot presence, when considered individually, is not a significant factor for trust, but when considered along with robot type, is significant. We show that accountability can be used to reduce human errors in HRI and further introducing a coalition building preface leads to an increase in trust for specific behaviors. Thank you.